Hello everybody, Joe here and happy Tuesday. So I call it minimalism and my health and I just try to be raw and real and honest. So <coughs> this past week has been absolutely crazy. Um so our current place is the cost is going to be going up and my roommate and I it's too expensive more than we want to pay so we've been applying to places and we found out this week that we got approved so come in October, we will be moving to a different spot. So you saw my um, short, you saw that announcement. So in October, we will be moving. I have about a month, less than a month, to get all of our stuff packed up and make sure all the stuff you do for a move is taken care of. So, when we first found out, I didn't have moving boxes yet, which you'll see behind me. I do now. I have some moving boxes. So, I used my travel suitcase to pack some of my books in. Because I thought, you know, use what I have, pack books in, wheel it, and make it easier. But... One of the tips with I have with moving is you want to be basically Tetris pack what you're keeping and what you're moving into boxes. So one, you want the boxes to stay light or, or not too heavy so it's easy for people to move. And two, you want to try and move as little as few boxes as possible without getting rid of too much. So, like I have had my de declutter pile that's gonna go before we move, and as I'm packing, if there's anything that I want to that we want to declutter, it will also get decluttered, and that way we're only packing and moving what we want to keep and what we will use. So, on that note, now that we have packing boxes and moving boxes, I want to try and fit all the books I own into one box. So that way, I'm not having to dig through multiple boxes to find all my books. So that's what we're going to do today for this tiny tidy, is we are going to pack up books and wipe down the shelf the books are on because as when you have a chronic illness it's important to do things as you can and when you can so for like me I'm filming this at night because I have more stamina at night my stamina is never great but I have more stamina at night. So I can do this, wipe myself out, and then sleep. Well, sometimes. But that's the chronic, the chronic illness part of it. So enough talking. Let's do this. Thank you. 
these books. These all keep. Keep. I think I'm going to So these books are all in a box together and I think I'm going to I take them out of this box, recycle this box, and just pack them in the It's easier to touch books if they're not in the packaging they came in. And one thing I do is I limit my book collection to, the, to what can fit on a shelf or just over a shelf. So. The quantity of books changes. Um, depending on how thick the books are. But. Having them fit on a shelf or like two shelves is how I decide how many books I'm keeping because you can go to the library, you can borrow from a friend, so it's not necessary, at least for me, to keep all the books. So I'm gonna see this is the suitcase I had the books in. I also just kept my packing cubes in there just to keep them packed. So packing cubes. Like a suitcase. 
And if I want to, I can use this suitcase to pack other things. And then this is all of my books. As you can see, they fit in one small moving box. So, and that, that is going to be my tiny tidy, is me packing that box. Um, I'm going to use, it's light enough, I'm going to use my foot to push it towards the wall. So it's out of my way. And I was going to wipe off the shelf, but like I said, it's all about doing what you can when you can. So when it comes to moving and stuff. I keep things minimal so it doesn't take much to move. My roommate and I actually realized that we could start packing like the week before the move and the week of the move and still have everything packed up in time. So Because packing up boxes doesn't always take as long as you think it will. So, just, you know, just be ruthless. Make sure that you are try. it's important to try and keep up on your paperwork. And just only move that you really want to keep. And that's going to look different for everybody. If you enjoyed this tiny tidy, please check out the playlist in the description box below of the other tiny tidies. Oh yes, and this tiny tidy is hosted by Sunday Dawn from the Help from Home. And I also do a uh, 10 minutes better video once a month hosted by Mel from Melinda Plain and Simple and when my chat isn't great I mean not chat uh, stamina isn't great I do a sit down and chat video so expect more of these pack a box videos each week as I get ready to move please like comment and subscribe and thanks for all your support. Bye.